So we're going to look mathematically at what happens during the Doppler effect. And so I've set up two observers. One is here and the wave, uh, the source of the wave is approaching this observer. And I hope you can see here the source of the wave is moving away from that observer. So if we just look at the waves bunching up on this side, I hope you can agree that over here, the apparent frequency, um, and that dash means apparent, the apparent frequency will increase. It will be higher than the actual frequency. And on this side, the apparent frequency will be lower. And you should be able to kind of rationalize that in your head by thinking about the wavelengths. Here the wavelengths are bunched up and we know that a shorter wavelength means a higher frequency. And here the wave fronts are spread out and we can see that means that there must be a lower frequency. But the question is, by how much? And it turns out, and I'll do the derivation in class if you're very interested in the derivation, it turns out that it's a ratio of the speed of the wave and the, the difference between essentially the speed of the wave and the speed of the sound. That's why you don't notice the Doppler effect if the um, speed of the source is very, very, very small compared to the speed of the wave. So you only notice it if this is big enough to become a, a reasonable fraction. So you might be knowing, you might be wondering, well, what's this plus or minus bizzo? So I want you to think about this from a mathematical perspective first. So we know that f dashed equals f, the actual frequency of the sound, multiplied by this. And you can see there's the velocity of the wave on both lines. So this here is either going to make this whole expression a little bit bigger than one or a little bit less than one. So if it's a little bit bigger than one, I hope you can agree that the apparent frequency will go up. That means if you want to um, see the apparent frequency go up, you would want this bottom line to be smaller. So if on this side, yeah, the frequency is increasing. So as it's approaching the person, it's going to be F, the velocity of the wave, and it's going to be a minus, the velocity of wave minus the velocity of the source, okay? And you should be able to look back at this picture and work that out from um, mechanical principles, okay? That as you are, um, as you are here, you would observe the velocity of the wave being less because it's approaching you with the speed of the source. On this side here, I hope you can see that this is going to be the sorry, this is going to be the frequency multiplied by the ratio where it adds together. because the wave is going to appear to be moving away from you. Okay, we're gonna solve some problems with this, but if you're interested in knowing how this is derived, we can do that in class.